Hi everybody, this is Sheila Canton One, and I want to show you everything you're going to get in this Halloween bingo riddles game. So there's 85 pages and you're going to have both a printable and digital version. I'm going to show you the printable first. So you start out with some intro pages, lots of great teacher instructions here. So you know everything you need to know on how to play. Then on page six, you start with the bingo calling cards with the riddles. So there are 28 of those. So you'll have a couple pages of the different Halloween riddles. And then you also have bingo calling cards with just the names and the images on them as well. So you could print either of those, whichever you prefer. Then you're gonna get 36 of the bingo games, which are in color. So 36 different games, game boards. And like I said, these are already in color. And then you also get 36, which are in black and white. So a lot of times students like to color the images. So the black and white just provide an additional activity for your students. I do want to mention that there are 24 spots. There's 25, but of course the free space, the students would already mark. So that gives you 24 spots. But if you notice, the calling cards actually have 28. And so you are going to have four that are not on every card. So students um, need to know that as, they're, as you're calling them. So for example, you may say cauldron, they may or may not have that. So there are four extra ones that are in the calling cards that are not on all the bingo cards since there's 24 spots for those. So that is the printable version. So lots of great options with that. And then for the digital version, this is in easel activities. And it says use the highlight tool or circle tool to mark the spaces as your teacher calls them. So there are 36 cards here and I just went and put the color version up. So it would be a little bit more fun for students. And then they can either use the, oops, I'm sorry. They could either use the highlight tool to kind of mark it, or if they wanted to, they can also use the circle tool so they can just create a circle here and they can go ahead and change the fill color of it to make it whatever color they want. And then they can just copy and paste this using the control C and then control V. And then they can just go ahead and make their own little bingo markers and play digitally. So that's kind of a fun option as well if you wanna use the digital version. So I hope this is helpful. And I hope you have a happy Halloween.